guys, Sinji here, and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one, nice little tips for you guys, and it's basically onto attrition. You can you see basically the burn cards that I'm using on this one. I don't actually have any pretty good burn cards as well. We've also got we a switcher the in the lobby at it's the minute. Um, so yeah, we're just going to talk you through this, guys. I hope you like the videos. I've just figured out how to do the custom thumbnail so yeah I'm getting that involved as well uh, I'll work on the face cam a little bit later on so yeah let's get into it guys right are you ready for this so you can see basically what I'm doing here is I'm going roof side and usually you'll find most of them will be roof side but down at this point you're going to find a lot of grunts, a lot of spectres as you can see by the minimap. You need to point A, use your minimap to its fullest, you can see where those grunts and spectres are. You see that red dot on the minimap there behind me? So I know there's already a human pilot that's in this little ring area but he's actually below me. Um, you can actually see the aerial arrows on the red markers which means they are below you, yeah, if there's no arrow, they are level to you guys. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to end up setting on here. We gotta take out the jump drive. And you're going to see me taking this now. There you go, messing around with me score. Okay, so we took the turret. The turret is a little bit of a tech for you as well. That turret's going to kill some drugs, it's going to kill some titans. It's going to basically add to your attrition points while you're playing the game. You can see I actually got taken out by a human there because there were so many grunts, so many spectres, I actually got that one confused. Um, that's one of the things, if you die, don't worry about it guys, just get back into the game, get back onto your game and start killing those pilots. It's not all about the pilot kills, bearing in mind, you need to keep killing the uh, grunts and spectres because they're going to rack up your points, the faster you kill them, the more change you get, the higher your attrition points are going to get. You can see I'm using Packet Sniffer, I'm using the XP card and I think it was Spider Sense, my first original card, which is pretty ca crap card to be honest with you. If you've got the rare burn cards and stuff like that, it doesn't hurt to use them. You might want to save them for like big clans and stuff like that when you come across a clan lobby. But yeah, right, so I'm just in the Titan at the moment and as you can see what I'm doing is I'm just taking out the trash with all the Grunts and Spectres. Um, this is one of the main things, uh, you see this tower, usually a lot of people do end up challenging this tower so you can pick up a lot of points through here. Now I'm actually going to stay in this area on this specific map, it's a very good area to be in, there's a lot of the spawns, if you spawn the other side, there's going to be a lot of grunts and a lot of spectres around this area. What I'm doing at the moment guys is I'm actually using these boxes, these walls as a little bit of cover, I'm taking out all these grunts and spectres, I know there's a titan about to come into gameplay, but don't worry about that guys, I know exactly what I'm doing. You can see this human here, there you go, we'll take him out as well, so that's it attrition point. And we need to get this guard tower down because it's attacking me and if the titan ends up up, which he is now, there you go. If he was attacking me I'd also have the guard tower taking off most of me out at the same time. Alright, so he's actually using a plasma railgun guys, so if you come across a plasma railgun, you don't want them to hit you while it's charged for example. You want to make it as difficult as possible for them to actually aim at you. Shift left, shift right, uh, spin around if you want. No, just kidding, don't spin around because you'll be stood in the same position and that'll be an easy hit for him. All I'm doing here is I'm just flanking around him. I'm going close to him, I'm not going to give him a chance to even charge that charge rifle. If he gets it charged, that's where he does most of his damage. As you can see here, there you go, I took a hit and he took off little, very little damage. He did take off the shield there because he did have a charge, that was well played by him. But let's see if we can take him out before he manages to even get us down. Let's have a look. There you go. Come on, come on bro, die. Hit those red areas guys, that's the main thing. You don't, in attrition, you do not want to, um, sorry, you do not want to waste most of your time attacking titans because at the same time you're losing valuable time for your attrition points. If you can take a titan out that's on low health, that's fantastic for you. You can just use that to your advantage. But if you come across a full titan health against, it basically it's titan v titan and you're gonna, what, spend 30 seconds, 40 seconds to a minute 
just getting one kill and that will only give you what five attrition points so yeah your attrition points will slow down then as well um, so yeah that's one of the things you don't want to do guys in attrition um, I am pretty much beast at attrition by now, I know exactly what I'm doing, you can see there's another titan there but I choose to take the human out first. I'm actually walking over to this titan, I'm going to punch him off the edge there, there you go, doomed titan, yeah, so you can punch him off the edge if they're stupid enough to stand on the edge, yeah, just take it out. Okay, so I'm actually just taking out the spectres, trying to get them all into sort of a chain reaction because if you kill them in close succession, you'll find that your attrition points goes up, as you can see attrition points there times 7. There you go, we got another pack but we're down to 1 so it doesn't last long that guy so you've got to bear that in mind, that's why you've got to get to them fast and that will rack up your attrition points. Right, so you can see a human flying in the mix there, so all I'm doing is I'm just still taking out the grunts and spectres. I'm not focusing too much on the humans, but I am taking them out as you see me just kill Mo a minute ago. Now this titan that I've had has survived practically all of the game to be honest with you. And here we go, I'm taking some damage because they got the guard tower up. That tells me the human player is there, so I'm just going to keep firing that cannon into that guard tower. Um, not paying too much attention to the human, there you go, we take out the grunt. We know the human's there, we've got a titan locking. So there's a titan somewhere, titan locked and there you go, that's going to force my disson back. Now watch what I do here guys, boom, art grenade, art grenade, straight at him, there you go, he's disorientated and we're going to pick up the kill, doesn't matter if it's a messy kill, a kill's a kill at the end of the day and there you go, we got another titan, we're going to end up on the rodeo here. Right, so we're rodeo him in, he's actually gone onto crouch mode, I've got no pilots that are very close to me. Uh, that pilot that I killed a second ago might end up coming back for me, but I'm going to take this titan out, it's an auto titan. It's free attrition points guys, but obviously this is better if you've got a spitfire weapon because it'd be so much quicker. But that gives me my titan to bring in. As I'm taking this here. There you go, you can see I got hit marked, but boom, straight into me Titan again. I'm on 114 attrition points and 243 score. There you go, we take out another human. He might attack me, but he was trying to take the tower. And um, we're just going to go over to the packs, run a load of packs over. We're going to give our team a little bit of help as well, because it is a team play game. It's not just about your own attrition points, it's about helping the team out and just being there for them generally. A little bit laggy there guys, I do apologise for that. Um, in future videos there's going to be no lag whatsoever. I've got a new computer guys, it's got an i7 processor, it's got a uh, terabyte memory, 16 gig RAM, so it is very 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 fast for rendering which allows me more time to edit the videos guys for you so I'm not actually sat there all day just rendering itself. Um, so yeah, I'm actually able to make them a lot better quality and I hope you enjoy them from now on. Don't forget guys, at 250 subscribers I actually have a giveaway, that's only 2 subscribers left guys, so yeah, hit that subscribe button, it helps a lot and I do repay the favour by giving you free stuff. What more could you ask? Simple as that. Okay, so we're going on to the attack and we're attacking this titan. You can see he had a charge though, so he has took a fair bit of damage on there. What I'm doing is I'm getting close to this titan. You see how he's trying to back off? That's so he can actually charge his charge rifle. And you can actually see he's doing a fair bit of damage, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disembark here because, yeah, I sort of challenge that a bit wrong, but I'm going to land straight on the rodeo there, guys. And we're going to take this guy out. Do, 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 and bang, you're dead. Okay, so we go up. You can see him in the air there. Actually, completely missed him there, unfortunately. Don't always get those kills, they are quite hard to get. I take out that human player and then I get taken out. 134 gameplay, guys. So, yeah, minion kills you can see at 73, pilot kills 11. So, the pilot kills are not as important. Just bear that in mind.